Hi, Harrison from Langchain here, and I want to show off a new use case accelerant we're building to show off in dog food long-term memory. So memory is a concept that we are really interested in here at Langchain. We, help, we think it will help companies provide personalized and differentiated experiences for their users. And so whenever we're really interested in a technology, we try to build out an application to dog food a lot of that underlying tech. And so the application that we've built here is a journaling app because we think journaling is a really good way to show off long-term memory. So I'm gonna walk through the journaling application itself in this video. If you are a developer and you're interested in access to the underlying memory API, there's a form uh, in the link below where you can sign up and get access for that. But I wanna walk through the application now. So here in, the, in this journaling app, I can create a new journal entry. And I've already chatted with it before, so I'm gonna write something a little bit vague on purpose and see if it responds in a way where it remembers some of the conversations that we've had. So here you can see that it remembers that the upcoming wedding that I'm going to is in Portugal. And so it pulls it in. Um, and so uh, I can, this is an interesting UX that we've added where after you write the journaling entry, it actually opens up a chat. And so we, you know, we, we intend for the journal to be a really good way for people to monologue and have a narrative about important things that they're thinking about. But then we also think that the chat aspect is really interesting for allowing follow-up questions and uh, allowing uh, basically more in-depth probing and, and asking of, of things that the user's experiencing. So here, you can see that I'm talking about where I should travel in Europe after, after the wedding. And you can see that part of it's somewhat generic. So, you know, uh, considering the location in Portugal, which we've already talked about, um, it mentions like Spain and France, but then it also remembers previous conversations that I've had with it where I've expressed my uh, love for Italy. Um, and so it's pulled in some of those facts and incorporated there. So. Um, let me let me also add in a few new facts that it can hopefully learn about me and incorporate into future conversations. So here I've let it know that I like soccer and I'm a fan of Inter Milan. Let's end the session. So now I'm back here. And one of the things that I can do from here is I can take a look at the memories that have been created throughout all my interactions with this journaling app. So when I click on memories, I first see a basic user profile about myself. And these are things that it's learned throughout the conversation and it has a decent amount of confidence in but it also has more fine grain knowledge of me. So let's search for what I just talked about, soccer. You can see that it remembers that I like soccer and I'm a fan of Inter Milan. Great. Another thing I can do is edit the way this journal responds to me. So I can go to config and I can edit the system message and I can add something like respond in pirate speak. I can now start a new journal and in here, I can say something like, I'm looking forward to the upcoming sports games. And here, you know, it, you can see that it takes into consideration some of the things that it's learned about me. So it asks if I'm looking forward to soccer matches in particular, or maybe Inter Milan. I'm actually looking forward to March Madness. I'm a big 
UConn fan. If I go back here and I now click on memories and I search for basketball, see that it remembers that I'm looking forward to March Madness and I'm a fan of UConn. So that's it for a tour of the journaling application. Again, all of this is backed by a developer API for long-term memory. And so if you're interested in access to that, you can click on the form below and sign up there. If you're interested in just a fun journaling experience, there's the link below as well. Thanks for watching.